Hello everyone and welcome to Monday's edition of the vlog. As always, it's a bit of a personal one on a Monday and Shredder, oh, well actually it'll be before this, so about four o'clock, um, I'll be going to the movies with Brooklyn. So we're gonna be going to see Paw Patrol. So it'll be good to see what she's like at the movies and this will be the first time you're taking her to the movies. So it's going to be an exciting experience for one. We've got our chocolates and we're gonna get some popcorn and all that sort of fun stuff. So she likes to spend a lot of time with her daddy. So I thought, why not do it? I've been up pretty early um, to say goodbye to dad and um, cause he's back in Melbourne. And yeah, so I've been working and then going pretty much straight to the movies. So had to quickly do this and then straight off pretty much. So with that said, we'll go uh, go along and just show you a couple of things that are happening in the in the garage and I'll tell you what I did over the weekend as well. So with the incubator, we're still trialing a few things to get this temperature right as it's sitting at around 32 and then drops down to 28 and back to 29 and 30, 31, 28, 27, all that sort of stuff. So it's tweaking it slightly until we get to that right temperature gradient and it can fluctuate a little bit because I dare say like the ZooMed and the ExoTerra ones will fluctuate as well. Um, but I just haven't seen it or documented it as much as I have been with this incubator. Since it's a large scale one, it makes it a bit harder to make sure those temperatures are right. And of course, if you have a few clutches in here, so you've got, you've got enough room to have, you know, say uh, probably about six or seven tubs per row. And that's a lot of clutches of eggs for that temperature to go wrong and cook your eggs or not give them enough heat. So I wanna make sure that that is spot on. Uh, what else happened over the weekend? We had a CBTV interview, which was with Scott Iper and he does Nature For You. And that was quite a good episode. It was a lot of monitors, lapids, and I got a book from him. So, um, Dangerous Creatures of Australia. So that's gonna be a good read for sure. Have to try and make a bit of room in the day to be able to sit down and have a read. Um, did a podcast on Saturday as well with um, Josh from Josh's Wildlife Photography. And I think that went really well. We touched on a few things, CBTV, um, conservation, all that sort of stuff that I'm quite passionate about. And touched on a few things such as what is CBTV, where it's going, what I'm doing with documentaries and what I do with my business. So it was quite quite a good thing to be on there and just sort of explain who I am. And a few people that don't know who I am now do. And hopefully they watch this sort of stuff like the vlogs that I do for Cold Blooded and, and all that sort of stuff. So it's a good, good way to network in a way. And I like how he's done it. He does live feeds and I think it went quite well. There was a bit of an echo um, that I could see after I watched it again, which I can eliminate that by maybe using a laptop next time or something like that, but I'm definitely looking forward to doing something in the future with him. Um, but other than that, not much really else is going on. Um, we're trying to get the reptile room up and working and ready to go for you know, uh, future seasons and stuff like that. So other than that, not much else. Um, so I'm gonna probably cut the vlog here and head off to the movies and watch Paw Patrol. So with that said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Go check out Paw Patrol of the movies because I think it's going to be a good one. And have a fantastic week. Doesn't matter how bad your day is, always end it with a smile because it's life's too short to be frowning and being angry all the time. End it on a smile and you're fantastic. You're good to go. I will see you all on Thursday. Make sure you have a good week. I'll see you then.